Tonight in Garage Time, we're gonna talk to you about a highly desirable accessory for your Volkswagen bus, ambulance vans. Now, luckily, finally got my hands on a set and I have been watching them for a few years. I've been watching the prices go up. I've never wanted to bite the bullet, but now that it's finally going in for paint, obviously I want the cover painted to match. I want a nice clean finish, so I took the plunge. These things, uh, I'm super excited. It's pretty awesome. We're gonna go through, I'm gonna demonstrate how they work, but I wanna explain something a little bit first. So obviously, <laughs> these were built um, pre-67. It's very rare to find 12 volt sets. So these are six volt motors. Now what Volkswagen did or how they had them was you had three steps here, obviously off, first and second. First, the switch runs the motors in parallel. So that's giving full battery voltage across both. In the case of the original setup, it would have been six volts per motor. Flip it into second speed, it runs them in series. So splitting that voltage in half between the two motors. So it would have ran three volts across both, giving you a total of six. We have a 12 volt system. So everything is 12 volts. So in order for me to do this without, in my mind, screwing up the motors, I don't want to run 12 across each. Maximum I want is six. So I'm going to wire them in series eventually. But for the purpose of the video, I just got these, super excited. Wanted to try them out. If I throw it right into second position, I'll be running six across each, which would be equivalent to the high speed. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and do that now. It's a pretty ghetto setup I have here, but again, I told you I was excited. We wanted to throw a quick video up for you guys, showing you how they work. So on my positive lead, I even made a makeshift inline fuse, used a couple uh, female connectors, slapped them onto a fuse with some tape. I'm gonna hold that on my positive terminal and we grounded out the fan. So the switch typically grounds to the body, this grounds to the bus. However, we don't have metal, so I'm gonna use clamp, clamp this on my battery for ground and hope that it does not fall off. I'm gonna tuck in strings off my hoodie. So if I stand it on its side, I hold that on the battery. And I'm gonna quickly bypass step one and go right to number two, giving me six volts across each fan. Okay, so I've, we've noticed the fans prefer, they are happier when they are facing down. So as you can see, they're blowing really well. I'm looking if I have some old insulation. No, not giving the effect. They're moving quite a bit of air and our light is working on the other side. So part of the reason we wanted the ambulance fans was last summer we were out cruising around in this and even with the safaris, all the windows open, when you came to a red light, it was crazy hot inside the bus. So thought, hey, if I get ambulance fans, picked up a set of these small little deflectors. These are from Shorty's Customs, but small little deflectors, they go in your overhead and deflect the air down on your head. So I'm assuming fans blowing, put these in, and we're gonna have nice airflow running over our body, keeping me nice and cool this summer. There you have it. The fans are working. Awesome accessory. We're super excited about it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And we'll see you in bed.